One day I noticed that everyone I saw smiled at me. I would smile at somebody and they'd smile back and was like, voila, I, this, is, this is a great day. I said, I must really have it together today. You know, you think, man, everything's just falling into place here. And everybody was smiling. But then I saw a reflection of myself and I realized that I had buttoned my shirt wrong. It was off. <laughs> so while they were smiling, they were probably really feeling sorry for me and thinking, look at this Magoo, he can't even <laughs> button his own shirt. But it's what reflections can do. It can reveal to you about yourself. And I want to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, when you see your own reflection, it you realize that this is what people see when they see you. Um, but by seeing your reflections, it gives you a chance to right the wrong, to uh, fix the mistake that you may, you may have made or that may be in your life. Um, in the same way, when we read the Bible, it's, it's a, it allows us to see ourselves. Uh, and you'll see that when you read the Bible and study it, you really see yourself comes to life to you. Over in Psalm 19.7, David wrote, The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. You see, God's Word transforms us, but we it's not only reading the Word. We have to understand the Word, study it, but then we need to obey it. We need to obey what He's telling us. That's what transforms our lives. In James 1, 22-25, Bible says, But don't just listen to God's Word. You must do what it says, otherwise you are only fooling yourself. For if, if you... Listen to the word and don't obey it. It is like glancing at your face in a mirror. Just what we were talking about in reflection. You see yourself you walk away and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, if you do what it says and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. Do you have any Bible verses that you've memorized? I mean, I know John three sixteen and the 23rd Psalm and I, I remember verses, but I have trouble remembering where they're at. And uh, that's something that I've been dealing with and I've been praying about. Um, you know, when Dan and I are together, it's funny because we'll start quoting funny lines from movies that we remember. We'll start quoting, <clears throat> excuse me, lyrics to our favorite song, and, and we have a ton of them. But it, it's not enough just to have that. It's not going to sustain us when, when we're... Um, facing any type of adversity in our lives. We need to have the Word of God in our heart. Um, I know for me, I have to do some house cleaning in my brain <laughs> and, and make room for God's Word. Um, words, um, not only that we should know, but words that we need to obey and words that we need to treasure, and that is the true Word of God. So I'm trying to memorize more, and I hope that you will as well, and that those words would bless you and transform you. God bless you, everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.